Simplify the Stokes theorem for this function. Integrate it round the square in the plane z equal to 0, whose sides are along the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to a, y equal to a, forming the square, right? So to verify the Stokes theorem, we need to show that the left hand side of the Stokes theorem, that is the line integral of dot product of f vector with dr vector. We need to find the value of this and this value should be equal to the right hand side of the Stokes theorem that is the surface integral of curl of f vector dot product with n vector ds. So if these two values are coming out to be equal, we say that the Stokes theorem is verified for this function, right? So let's start with the solution. Now this function is given to us and these are the lines that are given to us. This is the point origin and this is the point A0. This is the point A, A and this is the point 0, A. The line x equal to 0. This is the line x equal to 0. And this is the line x equal to A. Then this is the line y equal to 0. And is the line y equal to A. Very fine. Okay. So first we need to get the value of curl of f vector because in Stokes theorem we need this value. So let's calculate this. Just writing here i vector, j vector and k vector. Curl by curl x, curl by curl y, curl by curl z. Writing the first component of f vector that is x square. The second component is xy and the third component is 0. Solving this further we get i vector into partial derivative of 0 with respect to y is 0 minus partial derivative of xy with respect to z is also 0 then minus j vector partial derivative of 0 with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of x square with respect to z is also 0 plus k vector Partial derivative of xy with respect to x. It is y minus partial derivative of x square with respect to y. It is 0. So we are getting this to be y k vector. Right? And now the another very important vector that is the unit vector which is normal to the square. This is needed to be get. Now the unit vector normal to the square is along the z axis. Since this is your x-axis, y-axis, so the unit vector normal to the square is along the z-axis. So we take this n vector to be k vector. So writing this, since the unit vector normal to the square O, A, B, C is k vector. So taking this to be k vector. Finding the dot product of curl of f vector with n vector now. Y k vector. Taking its dot product with n vector that is k vector. That is equal to dot product of k and k is 1. So this is y. Right? Now finding first the right hand side of the Stokes theorem. That is the surface integral of curl of f vector dot product with n vector ds. So finding this. So this is equal to. This is your double integral. And curl of dot product of f vector with n vector is y. And for ds, I'm writing dx dy because the square is on the x and y axis and x and y varying from 0 to a. Yes. So writing here from 0 to a, the limits. So this is equal to, so first integrating this integrand with respect to x, we get yx and the limits from 0 to a and the integration from 0 to a dy. So this is y into a integration from 0 to a dy and then integrating this with respect to y we get a y square divided by 2 and the limits from 0 to a. So this becomes a cube divided by 2. So the value of the integral on the right hand side of the Stokes theorem is a cube divided by 2. Please mark this as 1 
and now let's find what is the value for the left hand side of the integral in the stokes theorem that is the line integral of f vector dot product with dr vector so this is equal to the line integral over the curve c what is f vector it is x square i vector plus x y j vector and it's dot product with dr for dr i'm writing dx i vector plus dyj vector where this r vector is xi vector plus yj vector and when taking the dot product we get this is x square dx plus xy dy very fine now we need to integrate because this is your line integral we need to integrate this integral along all these lines so we need to sum up this integral along all these four lines so first integral along OA and then is along AB and then along BC and then along CO, right? Please mark this as two because we need to get all the values for these integrals and then we need to put all these values over here. Okay, so first we are going to find the line integral over OA. Now along OA, Y is zero, right? And x varies from 0 to a right so for o a y is 0 so therefore dy is also 0 and x varies from 0 to a so this integral is y is 0 and dy is 0 here right so i'm having x square dx and x varies from 0 to a so this is equal to integrating this we get x cubed divided by 3 and the limits from 0 to a so we solve this we get a cubed divided by 3. Now over a b. For a b I'm having x equal to a right and y varies from 0 to a. This is along the y axis so y varies from 0 to a. So here x equal to a so dx equal to 0 y varies from 0 to a. So this is equal to the integral okay here dx is 0 right so we are skipping the first term and in the second term we need to put x equal to a y and dy and y varies from 0 to a so this is equal to a into y square divided by 2 on integrating putting the limits we get this to be a cube divided by 2 minus 0 so this is a cube divided by 2 then along bc y is equal to a right and x varies from a to 0. So for bc, y is a and dy is 0 and x varies from a to 0. So this is the line integral of, okay, dy is 0. So I'm skipping this term. So I'm having the first term that is x square dx and the limits from a to 0. So on integrating, we get x cubed divided by 3. And limits from a to 0 putting the upper limit we get 0 minus putting the lower limit we get a cube divided by 3 so this is minus a cube divided by 3 and then over co now along co I'm having x equal to 0 and y varies from a to 0 right so along co x is 0 dx is also 0 y varies from a to 0 so this integral is dx is 0 here and x is also 0 here. So this is the integrant is 0 and y varies from a to 0. So this is 0 as x is equal to 0. So let's put all these values of these integral to this second equation. So substituting all integrals into we get the line integral of dot product of f vector with dr vector is equal to the value for the first integral is a cube divided by 3 plus the value for the second integral is a cube divided by 2 plus the value of the third integral is minus a cube divided by 3 and the value for the last integral is 0. Just cancelling these two and we are getting this to be a cube divided by 2. So marking this as 3. So from 1 and 3 we have what is 1. 
that is the value for the right hand side of the stokes theorem that is the value for the surface integral which is a cube divided by 2 and on third we are having the left hand side of the stokes theorem and the value for this line integral is again a cube divided by 2 so we are getting both the integrals the value for the line integral and also the value for the surface integral to be equal to a cube divided by 2 so these integrals are equal hence the Stokes theorem is verified. Okay, thank you.